Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today with a Design Team Smashbook page from Craftin' and Stampin'. I'm using the Wildwood book from Close to My Heart, and I will put the links down in the description box below. I'm doing a two-page layout, or two pages in my Smashbook, and I printed out both the pieces of paper that I'm using, and I will be edging them in black soot distress ink. I wanted to do Halloween pages, so I printed out some Halloween paper. And on the left side, I was inspired by a project that I did making a witch in a um, Graphic 45 box. And what I was just showing you there is the paper that I printed out on the witch's boots um, from the cameo, you can choose a color to fill it with. So I filled it with the green in the background of that polka dot paper so that that way the polka dot part of her boots matches perfectly with that paper. So I'm just using some Scotch Quick Dry to put the boots together. And I got this um, from the Silhouette store. I'll put the design number in the description box below. I love Halloween and fall themed projects, so I wanted to incorporate that in my Smashbook. So I'm going to make a skirt for the witch. Um, so what I decided first was to mark where the skirt would come down to. So I'm just placing a pencil mark so I know how far to bring the skirt down because I decided I wanted to add glitter to her boots and I used some Martha Stewart glitter and I'm using my glossy accents. I'm adding that all over the boots with my finger just to make sure I get good coverage. And if you were going to do this, I highly suggest doing this and then giving it a day to dry if you can. I didn't. So there I was showing you the Martha Stewart Black Onyx glitter. Back to what I was saying, excuse me. Um, I pretty much worked with the boots. I only let them sit for this time while I was making the skirt. So I would suggest if you're doing it to glitter up the boots and let them sit a day. It'll make a less mess. Although it was fine, it cleaned up quickly, but it would just be easier. So now I'm just placing some double-sided tape down and using some crepe paper to um, pleat across for the bottom of her skirt. And I wanted to add some black tulle in between the layers. So I'm just folding over the tulle a couple times. And then with hot glue and a... Um, I don't know what it's called. It's it's I got those from the dollar store. They're supposed to be nonstick, and if hot glue gets on them, it peels right off. It worked. It wasn't the best thing. I'm sh I know they sell those um, rubber tools or whatever they are. Those would probably work better, but it did work, so I didn't burn myself. So I just pleated the tool across the top of that, and then I'll trim off any that I don't want on there. And then I just continued my layers doing the same thing, adding double-sided tape, the crepe paper or party streamer paper in black, and then some more black tulle. And then after I was done with that, I did add a few black feathers in there as well. And it turned out really cute. I was really happy with how it turned out. If you do get some hot glue that you can't get off the tulle, just cut it off. I ended up trimming the tulle anyways. And I'm not sure if I show this on camera or not, but when I was completely done, I took my hot hot um, tool, my heat tool, to it, and it gets rid of any glue strings that are just kind of hanging around. So now that I'm done, I'm just going around and trimming, and I'm trimming the skirt, um, the tool, and the feathers just to make it look to where I was happy with it. So now I decided she needs a belt at the top, so I'm just taking some black cardstock, trimming that down, and then I'll adhere that across the top with double-sided tape.
and then I'm going around as you can see and trimming off anything that is hanging over the edges not that you have to do that but I just wanted it to look a little bit um, neat here's the feathers they're just generic feathers that I got from Michaels quite a while ago and I'm using hot glue to tuck those in And I'm adding a bow to the top of her skirt. Again, paper that I printed out from the Cameo. I will put the design number for that as well in the description box. I adhere a black enamel dot to the center of that. But I end up changing that later and adding a purple enamel dot so it matched her boots. I thought it turned out really cute. So now I decided to let the boots dry a little bit longer and work on the second page. And again, this is Halloween paint paper that I printed out. And it has music sheets of like goblins and the witches dance. So I thought it went well. And I printed out a, a mat behind my photos that matches the paper on the left hand side cut out a scallop from some orange paper that I had and my photos are three by three and I just printed them all out together so it's actually three by nine these are photos of my son in 2007 he no longer trick-or-treats which is really sad to me I mean he's 15 so he doesn't need to be but it's sad how quickly it goes so I wanted to um, scrapbook these photos I don't I, I think I have one of the photos scrapbook previously, but not all three of these. So that October 31st is a cameo cutout. And same with that, the witch's tag, which I thought was appropriate because of the left hand page and that fence. I sometimes push the paper over it to adhere everything down. That way if the glue seeps out, it goes onto the paper and not my hands. And then after I cut off the edge of that tag, I added some more black soot so it looked like it matched the page fairly well. So I previously added um, off camera, I added some double-sided tape to the back of those. So I'm just removing the top piece, getting it where I want. And then once I'm happy with how it lays down, I, I take off the rest of the backing of the tape around the page and again because I didn't let the the boots dry I wanted to add my page first before adding the boots on it would have been better if I could have um, like I said waited a day but because of the trying to get the video done I wanted to just continue working and that doesn't it it's making a little bit of a mess now because they're not dry but um, by the next day they're completely dry so they don't continue to flake off so I'm just using some more scotch quick dry to adhere the boots down um, in case I'm asked this does add bulk to my book so it's um, I think it gives it a lot of character to the book. I'm, I'm okay with that, but if you don't like bulk, you're probably not going to want as many layers on her skirt. And there's the buckles. Again, I printed those out in the same green color as the background of the polka dot paper. And that was my entire page. Um, I believe I add a bow. Yeah, I add a bow to the right side that matches the left as well, just to tie that in. So check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, 
and my blog spot all at Corrine's Creations. And I will put links for Crafting and Stampin', Jessica Wilson's channel, down in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching.